anyway, for you in the future who have no idea what's going on, I, uh, because uh, I had to restart the recording, I played offline, did a little bit of progress, nothing important, don't worry about it. Anyway. Let's go to Lookout Landing. Oh, yeah. Uh, underground. This explored all this... Yippee! <laughs> it's not the first time stuff like this has happened, nor will it be the last. Ah. <sighs> Such is the wonders of a live stream format. Uh, one second. All right, just making sure I wasn't echoing. Well, let's go trade my, I have a, a six, six little orbs. So let's get another heart. Oh yeah, I also got four sage oath vow things and I upgraded Minoru. So now I have a stronger robot. It's like, yippee. My Gundam is more powerful. Also, I have a ton of Zonite. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got the entire, the entire wild outfit. Nice shorts. Shorts and boots. Now that's a look. Go fight Ganon. <laughs> Wearing shorts. Now let's get my outfit outfit on. There we go. Nice. Yeah, now that's fashion. Oh yeah. I also, while I was wandering the depths, found some busted ass weapons. And also a boomerang. So let's upgrade these, shall we? By fuse attack power. Don't do the ancient blade. That's an arrowhead that'll go away. Don't do the do the Gibdo bone. Do a Bacoblin horn to get a seventy-one damage sword. Do this and get a hammer. A goofy hammer, but a hammer nonetheless. Let's do another X. God, Ganon is not prepared. <laughs> oh boy. Just shove the spear right into the tooth. Lovely. All right, I got another five items. So, two, three, Four, five. Let's just uh, randomly attach the rest. It doesn't really matter. Except for this. I want the fang on this. There we go. Now I'm prepared. God, these are busted. 71 damage. Imagine if he steals all your hearts again. Can I give those back? Did chat die while that was all going on? I think the chat bot may have died while all of the technical difficulties were happening. Whatever. Hurrah, I did the thing. 
Well, did you find anything out about the fifth sage? Yeah, she's a robot. You found the sage of spirit? M Minoru, this is incredible. That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. Can't believe this is actually one of the sages who faced off against the Demon King alongside Pura. Well, time to do this all over again. Back to part one, baby. Chatbot decided to work again. And now we have news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the Decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand. Trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did much so much all on her own she's also a dragon what? the master sword was restored you say when you were when were you planning on telling me i wanted to tell you like a week ago it was found on the head of a white dragon of all places that's hard to believe however hmm. this was princess zelda's wish one she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through for us Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, <laughs> you really don't look quite like yourself unless you've got the Master Sword at your side. Check it. Yeah, I got this goofy axe and a sled. Now then, seems you have all you need. You're prepared to face our enemy. I'm coming to kick your ass, Ganon. We need to determine where the Demon King is look lurking. Seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. Can't think of any place he'd be on the surface. That must mean he's underneath it. We already know this. We've been told this. That's it, the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability that he's in the depths? Mm -hmm. you, do, you, do what you think best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Joshua for any info she may have. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help out. What? Whoa. So the Demon King is in the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. As usual, you're one step ahead of me, Link. Hmm. And you look so calm and collected despite what you are up against. You navigated the depths, which are incredibly dangerous and home to all sorts of nasty creatures. Not to mention all the gloom down there. Must have been a very challenging investigation. It was a lot of fun, though. And yet, you did it. Thank you, Link. So much. Joshua turned out to be pretty capable, eh? That kid was working tirelessly to gather information. She wanted to be of use to you. Make sure you let her know her help was valuable, yeah? Yes. With this, preparations are complete. Now our target is the deepest reaches of the depths. Beneath Hyrule Castle. Of course, I'll let all the sages know right away when you head to face the Demon King. You're not alone in this. Princess Zelda's final wish. Check it. Please hit the Demon King right in the face for me. All right. Let's go, dude. Destroy Ganondorf. Wind. Fire. Water. Lightning. Spirit. Heart. Wind. Earth, you're going to hell. Yippee! Here I go. Bring in Satan a bottle of water. Maybe that'll cool him down. The five sages have awakened and entrusted you with their power. You also determined during the, the Demon King's location during the Depths investigation. All that's left now is to head to the deepest area of the Depths beneath Hyrule Castle and defeat Demon King Ganondorf. I'm going to give him a wedgie. He is not prepared. Well, here we are again. Back in the Hyru the Hyrule Castle depths. I saw the dragoons! Where? Dragoons? Were they all hanging out upstairs? I didn't see any dragons. We 
before you teleported. Oh, were there dragons in the sky? Probably set my map to down here. Sheesh. Don't look at me like that, creepy. God, this guy went deep. You know, he pushed it up from the bottom, which means... Like, he pushed it up from below, which means it's below this. So you have to imagine Link and Zelda went down so, so many stairs. They were both in near proximity. Whoa, that's some intimidating music. I'm guessing it was Zelda and maybe Farosh. Well, I'm just going to ignore these guys. Hello? Oh god, what's happening? Kill the Horriblin! Get off my my outcropping here. Get out of here. Oh, now they're throwing rocks. Hit. Ow. Hot. Rude. Oh my god, stop. Why do they come right for me? Why do they come right for me? I hate this. Where are they coming from? I thought there was only one left. Why is there another here? Get down here. Get down here. How rude. All right, so where am I actually headed here? I don't suppose you have any items that heal gloom. Nope. Me preparing? No. <laughs> Whose stream do you think this is? Someone who knows what they're doing? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, probably that way, huh? Oh boy. Back off. That's a lot. A Lionel. Stop. Come on, shoot it, please. Fine, I'll do it. Give me my weapon. Well. That went very well. Time to fight a Lionel too. God, he has some health.
me your no boat God, I hate fighting Lynels. Jesus Christ! Fuck you, dude! Get out of here! Jeez! <laughs> Get deleted! It all to have four on a Lionel. Get out of here. Let me put on my gloom gear for a second. Let it give me a couple extra hearts. Over there. So much to explore down here. Hello. Man, this place is really falling apart after Ganon moved in. Oh my god. Property value falling. You know, but break that. There wasn't anything there. Never mind, that's nothing. Ah, oh, sick! It's the ice hallway! I'll be right back. Oof, ow, my bones. Uh. Obi didn't get his his security deposit back. Well, we're basically here to to evict him. Get out of my way! I need to cook. Let me cook. Let's see, how many Sunder Lions do I have? Make a sunny chicken. I wonder, does it matter how many Sunderlions I use? No, Sunderlion is any. It doesn't matter how, how much I use. Actually, it just heals five. Regardless. What if I put two like this? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I've got plenty of anti-gloom food now. <sighs> Let's 
I also have all of this because I can't help myself but just roasting food. All right. There we go. That's a bit better prepped. Don't mind me, Ganon. I just have to do meal prep. I'll be right there. You gotta cook for a week. On that psycho diet. He's gaining waiting. Because he misses us. Flee! Flee! Let me out of here! Hello? The power of a sage cannot reach you. I'm alone. I'M ALONE! <laughs> Ow! Knocked me off! Of I'm okay. Landed on my feet. Oh God! <laughs> Get up! Hiss! Back off! Stay away from me! Oh, God. Well, this went real bad. Real quick. Jesus. Something tells me these aren't the type of fa of Ganon hands that will run away after a while. Oh, hey, they remembered I was here. Yeah, uh... Later. Let me out of here. Please ascend, you dumb motherfucker! Ha! Okay. Hi. Do I have something which with which I can yeet you? Yes. Put that down. Ow! Get out of here. Oh, you mean a fight? Yeah, I can't take five guys in a fight. Take all five of them. Sheesh! Give me this. Sick. I know where we are. You got a refund. I got more than a refund. We're under the castle. 
This is where the game begins. Literally, right here. It's even playing the music. God, it has been so long. Surprise! Ow! Drop it! Yeesh. Ah! Gibdos! Had to rewatch episode one just to compare them. Yeah. But I recognize that room. Good morning. Unfortunately for you jerks, you're like super weak. <laughs> Man, give me more Gibdos to fight. Take that any day. This rock, and nope, this is just for getting through here. Coming in. Knock, knock. What up, Ganon? Didn't you do that exact same thing in the first episode? Kill the Gibdos? Ah, yeah, there were Gibdos here. Well, in, the, in, the, in the, the beginning, you come down here, you talk to Zelda, pick up the rock. No. I may have picked up a rock, but I didn't use it to dig. Um. Then you come in here and you fight some keys, and then Zelda is a huge nerd. Why am I trying to dig a hole through this? Knock, knock. I'm doing concussive archaeology. Yeah, let me take a picture of the rest of these for Zelda. Maybe there is a reason why they put oh, why they put this back here. <laughs> huh. Literally tells you that Zelda has the master sword and, and is a dragon. Sick. God, I love that. I've said it. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I love the like distorted vocals from this track, or from this game soundtrack in general. I need to save. This is Ganon's bedroom, basically. Ganon, Ganny Dorfy, the imprisoning chamber. Yep. And he just pushed that up. Some wacky time travel shenanigans. Maybe, maybe before we sent Zelda back, maybe they were different. I mean, we can't tell, really. Hmm. A big red pulsating hole. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god. <laughs> and this is to go even further beyond! 
dives to the literal center of the earth. Oh, hey, <laughs> it's Zelda's torch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's get you out of here. Screw this torch. This torch is my new friend. Ah. Welcome to hell. I feel right at home. What was that? Something's moving. Never mind, it's just uh, weirdly look weird looking shadows. Oh, this music though. It kind of feels like... The kind of like... Female, like the higher pitched, like distorted vocals. I feel like it's supposed to be... Like Zonai-esque. It feels like the masculine vocals are kind of... Pushing them. Which I'm guessing is supposed to be Ganon putting pressure on the Zonai. I think I'm just talking out my ass. Oh. Well. You provide me with the option to press the jump button. I will never say no. I love pressing this button. Diving straight into hell. Holy shit. I lived. long enough. Y'all are in trouble. <laughs> Squad. All right. First off. Ooh. Ooh. This music is sick. Second off, I kind of need to heal. Give me a minute. <laughs> play Hyrule Warriors today? Ha! Master Sword's dead. Ow! <laughs> Give me these. Give me these. Shit. Back off! Whee! <laughs> 
He hardly used it. Master Sword doesn't get a lot of energy, if I'm being honest. It's kind of not that great. Ow! Grenade out! Ah! Oh my god! And we just appreciate how much of a jam the music is real quick. I feel alive! Not like that guy. Or thou! God, leave me alone. See who can jump first! Get him! War in the depths of Hyrule, the Demon King's army. Oh god, phase two! Lizards! You know, Bo, come here! Yippee! <laughs> Where's Riju? Riju? There's Teva. Or Tulin, sorry. There you are. There's a lot going on. Where'd you get that name from? That's his dad. <laughs> his dad is Teba. Oh God. Wait a minute, you guys are pushovers. <laughs> Let's ruin their lives. Scared of Gibdos. Ganon is getting desperate. <laughs> he got a bunch of these nerds. Ain't nobody scared of Gibdos. Look, this one's running away. <laughs> Demon King's army, my ass. All right, moblins might be a problem. I'll give you that. Go! Even with all these lads. Oh, let me hit him. Okay, fine. Jeez. Even with all those lads, he still couldn't stop us. Oh. More obstacles in our path, but our foe is mistaken if he thinks this will stop us. 
Here we go. We are faced to fight these beasts. Don't worry about us. We'll take care of this, Goro. You ready to see the power of a sage? We'll be fine. We already beat them once. This will be a breeze for sure. It is time, Link. The rest is up to you. I feel like Sidon got the bad end of the bargain there. Muck the Rock is by far the hardest. Well, bye bye, everybody. I'm a. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for the sword to recover. So, how you doing? <laughs> what? I know. I kind of wanted to fight all five bosses at once. That would have been sick. But that would have also been bullshit to program. I'm okay. Yeah. That, that fight was a lot of fun, though. I was expecting them to drop, like, three Lynels on us, though. I'm glad that didn't happen. So we're going to be here for, like, six minutes. Let's talk about the video game. How about them dungeons, huh? I think they were a lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm going to say that there are... Seven. In total. Six, maybe seven. Um. One for each sage, Hyrule Castle, and Hyrule Depths. And they're split into, like, three stages. Like, lead up, actual dungeon, and then boss. I would say... Don't look at that. Don't look at me! Only Diego is here. I know, right? Here. While we wait for the sword. Let's do some stuff. Alright, so... Temple lead up tier. Two, three, four, five, six. Temples, wind, fire, lightning, spirit, water castle these are our six temples so the lead up where the 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 run into the run up quest before the actual dungeon for wind temple this would be the Rito village quests as well as the like ascension for Gerudo this would be all of the Gibdo fighting for Hyrule castle uh, it doesn't really have one. So. Castle doesn't have one. I would say when it comes to lead up, Hebra is probably the best. With the jumping from tower to tower, getting up the storm. Then I would say lightning with the the sick like um the gibdo fights the gibdo defense and fights and all that then probably water 
a little bit it introduces like the bu jumping from bubble to bubble uh you figure out how to deal with the sludge on the surface you end up going into that cave it's pretty cool then probably spirit because the the dragon and the lead up quest to the the dragon islands well it was fine kind of disagree with lightning being in second i just really liked the huge gibdo fights i really really liked the um the climbing the 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 boats in hebra and then fifth is fire because fire temple sucked <laughs> In like every aspect, Fire Temple sucked. <laughs> it just sucks because I love the Gorons. Temple proper tier. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Temple proper. This is the actual point where you go in and it says wind temple lightning temple spirit temple for this i would say the number one probably be lightning the actual temple itself was super fun i love the i love the light puzzles and it was all pretty straightforward too there was no real confusion about where to go next. It all led into itself pretty well. And I love the music. The temple proper for lightning. Mwah. Loved it. Second place. Uh. Probably. Water. Oh, hey. Well, anyway, we're going to finish this tier. This tier list. Boop, 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 boop. Make sure you can see all that I'm writing. Probably water. I really liked the, um... The, the, the sludge and monitor and, like, the, some of the water, like, level manipulation. I liked that. Third is probably... It's gotta be wind. Um. Yeah, store the storm, storm wind arc, a lot of fun. I loved it. I loved jo jumping out from the boat and flying back in from the side of the boat. That was all really cool. Uh, the huge ass cannons that you had to, that you had to reverse. Had a lot of fun. Fifth, or fourth, I suppose. I would say castle. There wasn't a lot to it. It was just a series of fights, but getting from fight to fight was still kind of fun. Navigating the castle and the fights themselves were all right. I mean, it's just a bunch of random monsters, but it was fine. And you got some good gear out of it, out of, out of it too. Five. Fire, because it sucked. I will, I will say a lot of my opinion on the fire temple is because of me. <laughs> How I approached the fire temple made it infinitely worse. And then I'd say six is spirit um, because the actual spirit temple is just a boss fight. There isn't really a fight like a temple proper. All of the, all of the spirit stuff is lead up. So it's kind of like in, kind of like in A, if I say anything. Same with castle. And boss fight, dear. Two, three, four, five, and six. Best fight. In the best fight in the game, best boss fight so far. We're not including the obvious end fight here. Colgara from the Wind Temple. C 
Cold Gara, the in, the introduction and the fight to him, the first time you do it, is the most hype shit I have ever encountered. <laughs> Cold Ga yeah. Cold Gara is the most hype shit I have ever encountered in a Zelda game. Granted, I've only played four of them. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. I've only played the Nintendo 64 games, this and Breath of the Wild. So there's a lot of Zelda I have not interacted with. But currently, Colgara is like my, one of my top boss fights in the Zeldas that I've played. Second, would be the construct, the spirit temple, the wrestling match, the robot wrestling match. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> From the top rope. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's got the chair. That was hilarious. I loved that so much. Uproarious laughter, basically, the entire fight. The Ed and Eddie run, yeah. <laughs> Three? Probably be... Mukturak from Water. Mostly because his fight is so silly. Like, how he walks and how he runs and... He, he plays, he's basically playing Splatoon while you're playing Zelda. And it was just very funny. Grant, I will, I will add this though, though. Fighting him after the fact in the depths sucks. He is terrible as a fu as to fight again. Colgara, fun to fight a second time. I fought him, fought him like two or three times while I was doing all my running around in the depths. Because the after you beat the temple, the bosses um, they become like like world bosses that you can encounter in the depths, and you can beat them for treasure. Fought Mukdarok once and hated it. He takes so much resources to beat, and he just he just and oh, he is so infuriating to catch. But the first time you fight him is very entertaining. Four. Probably be Phantom Ganon Rush for the castle. Where it's just like 10 Ga Phantom Ganons against you and the Sages. Kind of teaches you not to be afraid of Phantom Ganon. I'm not afraid of fighting Phantom Ganon. I'm afraid of the Phantom Hands. Because <laughs> those things can stun lock you. Unless you have the gloom armor, I noticed. If you can break their grip before they break one of your gloom resistance, you take no damage from them. And that's pretty cool. That's, that was something good to learn while we were getting down here. Five. Queen Gibdo. Not a bad fight. Just kind of like run-of-the-mill... Zelda stuff. I do like how the um the the uh like the Gibdos start spawning, that was cool, and you have to, you know, handle them like you had to, you know, in the city. But the fight itself was was it was just it was okay. Six Marbled Goma from the Fire Temple. Mostly because it gets on the ceiling and aiming Unobo at its legs is obnoxious because it'll get out of the way before he even gets to the leg. So basically, it comes down to you pointing uh, pointing Unobo in a direction and hoping he hits. Marbled Goma. Didn't really enjoy it. Now what I will say though... Oh, it's uh, not a boost fight, by the way. What I will say, all bosses were better than any, <laughs> any blight fight. I will fight Marbled Goma over Fire Blight any day. 
Blight fights were not very interesting. <laughs> But yeah, this is my temple tier list. There you go. You're welcome. Anyway. Now that we wasted enough time to, you know, respawn our sword. Let us put... this on my sword boss fight baby yeah time to add an act another boss fight let's go Ganon Ganon I'm here to give you a letter grade on how good your dungeon fight is how good your boss fight is Ganon oh beat him with a stick Coming here with nothing but tree branches. <laughs> you know, this might be blasphemy to some people, but you know what this... You know what this all reminds me of? This is Bed of Chaos <laughs> from Dark Souls 1. <laughs> oh boy, get ready to run. Here comes the fire. Let's go. Regardless, I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. I will crush any opposition. I will rule. That is what a king must do. The menace unleashed. An absolute menace, Demon King Ganondorf. Oh no, he's hot! of King's Revival. He said the thing! And the birth of his new world. Let's fucking go, dude! Holy shit! He's huge! Oh, he does, and he does do gloom damage still. Okay, he can do spin attacks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my god, he can change weapons! I jumped right into that, I'm dumb! Ah! I'm okay. Pretty sure you didn't need to wait for the sword to recharge. Probably not. I missed! Okay, 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 okay. You 
take this! Oh! Okay. If you insist. Hit! Oh my god! No! Die. Ah. Okay. <laughs> the fear! <laughs> the fear I felt in my heart! Get me away from the wall. I think I should... Should probably have jumped. Put that down. I should have... Oh, why did I side... Why did I front jump a spear? Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is a delay king. I'm going to die. Get away from him. Get out of that. And he still hit me. Bullshit. One moment. All right, more food. Holy shit! If you can't tell, I'm not good at Dark Souls. What a feeling. I had almost forgotten the thrill of battle. That feeling as blood surges in my veins. And I am not even near the limits of my power. That was spirit. <clears throat> Master of the Secret Stone, Ganondorf. Oh, actually, that was lightning. Never mind. Um. Enjoy these fights. I will be taking far more than your arm this time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. Give <laughs> <laughs> me alone. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! <laughs> hey bros, I think I'm dead. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> when the health bar goes off the screen. This is a problem. All the damage he does is gloom. All right, we have reached the get good portion of the video game. All right. Wait right there. Fuck. Never mind. <laughs> Time to get good. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, he just tanked that. What a champion! I've barely gotten started. You want my bone? Alright, he does he does the overhead and the side attack alternatively. <gasps> All right, spear. Don't poke me. Yeah, sure, I did it twice in a row. What you gonna do? Oop. Oh boy. Oh my god. All right, we're doing a lot better this time, though. Oh. We're doing a lot better. Get up. As they say, you got to get up to get down. Where's his head? Only you had your, had your death Roombas. Go, my boys! Get him! He killed them! He killed them all! Get him, dog! Smack him! D distract him for me! Yeah, get him! Uno 
reverse! God, that feels great to do! Ah. Oh my. Stop blocking my things. Smacked my feet. <laughs> just permanently took a heart ah! get in give me that shit back oh no he can do reverse me Avoid that. I ran right into it. Was kidding when I said he'd steal your hearts. He took them. He did it. He's immune to arrows now. Oh, oh, oh God. Uno reverse. and said, please, Mer sir, may I have some more? <laughs> oh my god, I actually parried! God. Get away from me!
them, I think. <clears throat> uh, you can't kill a dragon. Hello, Diego. How are you today? Dragons are immortal, literally immortal. Unkillable. Oh my god, it's Calamity Ganon. Oh, I like the fucked up version of the opening theme. The Draconified Demon King, the Demon Dragon. Oh man. Somebody get me a toothpick. Get his ass! Do it! Dragon fight! God, Skyrim could never. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Todd. Damn, someone get this guy a tic tac. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Jump? I gotta shoot him in the eyes. I gotta aim for the eyes. Open that shit. I need a wing, I need a wing, I need a wing, I need a wing, I need a wing. You got your heart back. Yeah, we're outside. The sunlight cures gloom. I need a key swing. I need to throw this as fast as I can. Because I am not close enough to hit him. Yeah! All right, shooting in the eyes was not the, not the correct idea. Ah, I see. He's got these things all over his back. That's what we need to hit. Does he have one near his head? No. Alrighty. Oh, he does have stinky armor though. Ah, the light! All right. Regroup. Ah! Zelda, regroup. Huh. Where'd he go? There he is. Go.
This fight is almost actually breathtaking. Like, I actually had something like, <laughs> like I actually had my air evacuate my lungs there for a second. Oh my God. Come on, I can get to this. It's not a tumor. There's only four of them. We can do this. Can't stand on his actual back. You have to get in these wounds and then slap this. Then get out of there. Zelda. Come here, we go again. Let's go. Please don't smack me around, Zelda. <laughs> All right, let's get this. What the? F Give me my heart back. This man's spitting home and home and gloom. Hawking loogies that are uh, aiming at my head from across the classroom. Get him. Let's go. One more. Watch that tail. Guess sunlight can't fix that. No, that's permanent gone. You need blessing of the goddess for that. Like we've been doing for the rest, we've been getting the blessing of light. All right. Last one. All right, watch out, because they're coming from all directions now. Entering all range mode. It looks like he'll still have health even after this. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop looking at me. What did I just say, Ganon? All right. There's one more thing. I see. Zelda! Let's fucking go, dude! What up? How you doing? Spit that out.
What did I just walk in on the end of the game, Jonathan? Hello. <laughs> Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh. We can put a new boss fight at the top of the boss fight tier list. <laughs> I'm naked. Why am I naked? That's it! Undragons, your princess. I can love seeing look away looks more intently where she can't fly Zelda <coughs> hold on <laughs> fuck we should have thought of this before we got rid of her wings Raru, Zonia, this was a terrible idea! <sighs> it's alright, I'll break the fall, I guess. It's like the start of the game at the Temple of Time! It's sick! Ah! I love bookends! And thus, Link and Zelda <laughs> became a smoothie.
call you. After all, oh. he's gone. The Demon King. I'm not in a dream, right? You did it. Oh, Link, you really did it. Stand. I had been sleeping all this time. But when I felt something, like a warm, loving embrace, I woke up. So what are we going to do about the flying castle? That made me stupidly happy. <laughs> the the Fine Princess Zelda complete. All right. Credits time. I don't like talking during credits, so we'll let it run.
Bro, bro, bro! This game rocked! <laughs> the ending was so good! Ah! Oh! Shush! I can't believe such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. Just when I thought I'd started to figure the Zonai out. Everyone, I am glad I was able to bring you all here. I wanted... ...to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Whoa! I've never been this far up before, Goro! Wow, what a sight it is! And Zelda, you were roaming the skies all along? Yes, although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. This is only a theory, but Raru's power of light and Sonia's time power. Ignore that. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, Link. Oh. I see. Now it seems, it is my time. Minoru! Do not worry. You have overcome the burden my era left to you. You have proven yourself, and you no longer need me. I know I can move on, join Raru and the others, and the world will be safe. Link nods enthusiastically. Yeah, what they said. Ravu and Sonia will be happy to hear of this. But Minoru... <laughs> and I'll let them know just how much you care. Sonia, Minoru, 
the ancient sages. They wished not only to save Hyrule from the Demon King, but for it to see eternal peace. I will dedicate myself to that goal. Now, and for all time. My friends, with all of your strength, stand with me. Someone's got to put the castle back in the hole. We just got to get like a big plunger and start pushing down on it. Like, I don't know what else we can do. They will never tell anyone the Zelda was a dragon even to this day. Shh, no one's got to know. Didn't tell anyone anything. The guy's a mute. He just like emotes at them and like gestures. He doesn't even do sign language. He just gestures at them, and they guess what it means. Oh my god, that game was awesome. <laughs> Blue Breath of the Wild out of the goddamn sky! And now... We have the little star next to our name. You know what that means. Demon King Ganondorf, an evil man who lived long ago in the era of Hyrule's founding. His legend claims that this Gerudo man fed his bottomless ambition with great power and became a king of demons. He was imprisoned beneath Hyrule Castle for ages, but the magic holding him weakened when the castle was damaged during the Calamity a century ago, and his power has been steadily growing since. Now he is revived as a threat beyond the knowledge of any. Also, I never read Minoru. Elder sister of Raru, she helped her brother, the source of Link's right arm, fight the Demon King in her role as the Sage of Spirit long ago. When she was struck down in battle, she used her powers to preserve her spirit in the Pura Pad. She feels responsible for a Zonai secret stone giving rise to the Demon King, and swore to Zelda she would do everything in her power to defeat him in the present day. No post credits for the post credits scene. Truly unplayable, zero out of ten. Nah, but seriously, this was one of the. <laughs> One of the best games I've played. God, the boss fight was so good! Music, awesome, everything, sick! I loved it so much. Also, on the, the topic of the Zelda jokes that were being told earlier, do you think, in the time of ancient, like, the Zonai and all that, do you think anyone ever snuck a a secret stone into like someone's drink and turned them into a dragon as a prank? I think that would be a very funny prank. Anyway, since we're only two hours in, I'm going to go do Terrytown, I guess. You know, the actual main story. Ah. Cosgeos, yeah. You know something I can say about this that I couldn't say about Breath of the Wild's ending? I feel satisfied with that. That was good. 
I also have to wonder about the implications for Zelda going forward. If it does, I mean, who knows? But we didn't seal Ganondorf. He didn't get put put in a box. He didn't get his power stripped away and locked in an evil realm. He isn't stuck in the Master Sword. He got his ass beat and disenchanted. The man is arcane dust level two now, being ready to be used for his spirit enhancement on someone's belt. He's gone. Now what? <laughs> Anyway, hello, Terrytown. I've literally never done a Terrytown quest. Ooh, I like the music, though. What is this? Monster extract can be used to make monstrous meals. I don't know what that means. I'll be buying these arrows, though. Welcome, I can see your customer with some taste. Am I right? This is your first time in our shop. Good choice, but in case you missed it, we also carry Monster Extract now. That's right. Proud to be the only merchant who sells Monster Extract. My main business used to be useful things even attached to arrows for a little extra oomph. But a contact of mine helped me source Monster Extract, so now I have a sideline in that too. Uh... If you're interested, I can hook you up, son and done. Okay, but I want the arrows. Where's this EC drip? I'm sorry. Please forgive my sins. There it is. Be good pants. Now that's fashion. Oh yeah, also, uh, yeah. I found this. Anyway. Da, 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 da. What's that little star? Break up our shop. Wait a minute. Break it down. Zip za! What is this? Break it down. Son and done. So have you ever regretted attaching some to your weapon or shield? Uh. Time to tap me, Pelison, here to break a part shop. That's when you can play Zip Zah! It'll be back to how it was before. Break what now? <laughs> yeah, curious how I do it. Figured out how to break things apart, but disassembling stuff I didn't need anymore here in my workshop. Uh -huh. On the eye of the great Pelison, I'm capable of this craft. You got something attached to somebody else, I can break them apart and return them to their original state. Uh. Oh, so... Like, you could recover a item that has been fused like this. That's actually cool. Oh, wait, it's Kilton. Oh, but the goblin here. <laughs> Why, hello there, you. It's an honor to see your face with my eyeballs once again. It is such a pretty, pretty day, no less. Hmm. You met again with my other younger brother, Colton, didn't you? I can smell it. He is a bit uh, eccentric, I know, I know. But I hope you'll find it inside your heart. To treat him with kindness. <laughs> ah, where are my manners? I've yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from monster parts, you see, and traveled about selling them from my shop. <laughs> Once I'd saved up a tiny little nest omelet, I gave that stall to my younger brother. Now I've purchased this part of dirt land so I, that I can, at last, Make a real dream I've dreamed since I was a wee, Kilton. Sadly, it seems that the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream and not, is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. Japanese games and drag queen gear to go to go together like weed and fire far out culture Link is actually specifically designed to be 
like as gender neutral as possible like as as completely and androgynous as possible like zelda is gnc as hell <laughs> what is your dream the truth is this is just between you and me i've adored monsters ever since i was a wee kilton oh uh how strange this is usually the part where you say what monsters disgusting but here you are so sensitive to my sensitivities i know i know Monsters are violent creatures and despise the world be over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That's my dream. But my, for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all of the land, Hudson! <laughs> <laughs> as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, you must come back! I promise you a monstrous spectacle, the likes of which no one has seen before! Please do not unleash monsters. Damn racist fight the good freight. If only monsters weren't literally spawn of the hot Satan. <laughs> if only they literally were not were not literally spawned from Ganondorf. Oh my god. She has a peanut for a head. Oh my god. He has a peanut for a head. Oh, I see. Anyway. Hello, Hudson. I know so much about you. Wait a minute. All's well. Uh, thought it may be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. Gotta hurry and find some sucker to... Uh, hmm? Head into the construction site, eh? There's small free to use rail car I'll collect there for you. 20 rupees, no exceptions. You need to pay it once. One fee unlimited rides. How about it? Sure. <laughs> You're good. You're all set. Yes, yeah, profit, profit. Ah. Controls are simple. Just give it a whack to either start or stop it. Free to use it as you please now. All right, cool. Hopefully, Hudson will go back to the construction site soon. So we should get a charge that fee when he's around. Oh my god, he just stole money. Just need some good loving and a, and a meal. Unfortunately, the mo the food that I have is literally poisonous to them. Ganon is clearly misunderstood. I can see where you're coming from. And where he is, too. I'm so worried. Oh. Wait a minute. Hey, yo! This guy is just straight up an Ocarina of Time carpenter. Just with a weird ha <laughs> weird hair. Do you think his hair is just that long? Or do you think this dude's got a cone head? Acorn head. This dude's on some Nanu, Nanu, Nanu type shit. Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand, I know why you're worried about Madison moving. Minori told me that Madison has been acting really cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going... What the? My phone just died on the charger again. Yeah, it did. I love my phone. God, I need to buy a new one. Poke it. I'm afraid it'll quiver. Like a, like a, like one of those jello cake things where you poke it and the entire thing just goes. I don't want to see his head do that. It makes me uncomfortable. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. <sighs> Please, if you keep acting like this, it'll only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once in a lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send off. 
We're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. A unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But uh, I'm so sorry, we're still not open for not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Oh. Look who it is. Sure has been a while. I don't know who you are. I've never done the Terrytown quest. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing really good. Nowadays, it's kind of village that welcomes folk from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Yeah, I figured as such. <laughs> I, I can see the resemblance. My little Madison. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Oh. Sorry, I've got to go. Kind of busy right now. Oh. Going back to work now, Ronson. Don't worry, I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. He appears to be worried about something. Rondon see Ronson seems upbeat about it. <gasps> oh my god, I've registered everybody. Ronson and Hudson. This married couple runs the company that has been key to projects during the long reconstruction of Hyrule, including the creation of Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. Hudson has unparalleled skill as a builder, and together with the Gerudo Taylor Rud Ronson, they helped found Terrytown. They also have a daughter named Madison. Also, Riju as a new. After fighting beside Link once again, she has inherited a secret stone and awakened as a Sage of Lightning. Under her increasingly confident leadership, Gerudo Town was freed from the threat of the Gibdos and the Sand Shroud. Though the Gerudo have returned to the surface, men are still barred from the town. Link, who has earned their trust, is the sole exception. Because I'm just that cool. All right. All right, you seem happy about this whole Madison leaving thing. Sorry, we aren't up for business yet. It's a shame we're so busy, too. After all, we haven't seen you for such a long time. But right now, my husband and I must prepare our daughter to send our daughter off. And your thoughts about it? What am I going to do? Oh. We were so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, oh. it's son and done. Here I am, president of the company, supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Child. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Ronson. <laughs> so the best parts of you is your head? <laughs> Thank you. you gotta use your head. But Madison is... Well, soon she's gonna leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. Oh. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. Been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but... I, I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Uh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full, too. What with preparing Madison for the move... She's so busy, she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. And Link became a babysitter. Ah. Uh, parental anxiety about sending your kid off to college. It is the way it is. I should probably mark this. Both Hudson and Ronson regret that they are too busy to play with Madison. Well, I guess that's my job. Where'd she go? 
Madison? I was told to play hide and seek. The Gerudo region doesn't get any rain, so she won't need any of your rain gear. It's not during the day, of course, but the nights get cold. Should pack some warm things. Ah, oh. oh, sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before a big move. You lost her already. Perfect, I'm the best babysitter. She's out there learning on her own. She's been doing so much between making friends with the villagers here and studying in her room. I want to support her however I can. <laughs> Once she's off on her journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. Oh. That's the company storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside? I see. Is there a cave around here, mayhaps? Ah, uh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. The music is really good. That is a great town theme. Da 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 da. -da. Give me that. I don't know if this is in Breath of the Wild because like I said, I at multiple times, I've never done Terrytown. If so, that's a good thing to carry over. Oh. I see. Wait a minute. Hold up. These are physics object. Get up! These are physics objects, huh? You. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So Cutout was blocking the door. Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these out back so they can't go and block the door again. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that should do it. Oh. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them too. Oh, you know it, dude. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I feel complete. Anyway, I need to find out where Madison is. Hello? Hey, I'm supposed to play like tag or something with you. Hello. Good morning is Savota. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Don't frighten me like that. That's a terrible voice. That's a Korok voice. Don't frighten me like that. For a second, I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. Doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too. So I've made it my miss mission to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? So your time could be better. About to give a lesson to Granny Minari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson... Should be given an I'm gonna be given a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Oh god, I have to study? 
linking as link asking the real questions. What what are frogs? First page, note number one. Say the Gerudo greetings clearly, smoothly, and easily. Good morning, is Savota, not Sabota. Boys are Voe, not B, no B. Grandma is Vaba, B and B, so mean. Thank you, Sarkso. Number note number two. The chief's pet is special. Chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can read people's fortunes. Note number three. No talking to Voe. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Voe anymore. Mama says it's a Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Voe before I get there. Note number four. Must not. I must, 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 must not cry. No crying. That's sad. That makes me a little sad. Teaching League language is a little waste of time. We covered this. Well, he can learn. He can learn it so that he can understand what people say to him. Doesn't mean he's going to. He's going to learn how to speak. All right, where'd Madison go? She's going. Oh, there she goes. It's lesson time. God, I hate this. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Granny Minari, Savak. Hi. Oh my, you're in a good mood today. Madison, is it time for another lesson? <laughs> of course. And it's special because uh, it's a special occasion too, because a new student is joining the class. Oh. Okay now, pay attention, Granny Minari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for Granny? Granny and Gerudo is... Uh, hmm. What was it? Vaba! Oh. Ding, ding, ding! That's right! This guy's helmet and finger paints. <laughs> Link's a simple hero. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before. Ah, ah yes, Vaba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language, you know? Myself, you know? <laughs> well, it's weird. that's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if everyone can talk like that here, well... Then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Oh. I feel better knowing Mama will be okay. But now I don't need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm? <laughs> I've got it! Papa's always so busy. I'm just making my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm gonna go ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Okay, bye. Oh, Madison, she's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs and not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Hagee was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to, get, to catch a ride. Catch a ride! Rest in peace, Scooter. He was the best of us. That's sweet. She's a good kid. Although that is true, she really shouldn't be having to do all of this. We found a pile of graham crackers and juice boxes. He'd sit cross-legged, consume it all, and lay down for like half an hour nap. Just like me, for real, for real. Also. Time to consume six whole bunches of apples. His daily ritual. Oh, stop that! This rock belongs to me! I'm not gonna give it away for free! But if you really want, I consider selling it to you. Fine, I'll buy it. Nobody can find someone to pawn off this weird rock on soon. What's the rack? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stop. I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> but if you're interested, I consider selling for a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Not for that price. In that case, about about 80 rupees. One time only deal just for you. But a little lower. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Mm. 
Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I call 60, no, 50 rupees a more than fair price. But, but I already set an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Hey, no need for the stern wife look. Owned. What do you say? It's a real deal at just 50 rupees. Fine. What? He's actually going to buy this weird rock I found. It's my lucky day. That's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock. So you've made a wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. That's fine. I'll place it in the bag for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. Bro, you have no idea. Wait a minute, I just realized. Hudson is using... Hudson Construction is using Zonai Tech. I unironically want to live in this town. Terrytown is like one of the safest places and one of the nicest places to live. It's like with this giant like natural moat. It is really hard for monsters to get to Terrytown. And the people all seem nice enough. And we don't have any weird, <laughs> any weird political drama like you do in Hateno. Kakariko used to be very nice until a giant rock fell, a bunch of rocks fell from the sky. Hey, I've rented the rail car. Oh, I'll ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. But I forget that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. Never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm gonna have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I gonna do that all by myself? Well, if I need someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Give me that. Sorry, but the construction company is still using that cutout. You want to take from your one for yourself. You're free to grab one from behind the construction company. Oh, no. This is awkward. I, um... I fused them all to my shields. Can you maybe put some more there? Oh, wait. She'd been so upset until that point when she saw her father working hard, she said. <laughs> Papa's done such dedicates and should be more like him, so I'll stop crying and be more patient. That was the moment, I think. She saw how, da how hard her dad was working and decided to start working hard herself, too. But don't tell him that story. It'd probably go to his head. Uh-oh. 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 Uh... Oh, hey, dog. Uh, well, I guess I can use this. You're blind! Eh. There we go. Come on, dude. There you go. <laughs> Come ride the rail car. I got that one. I guess I'm going to have to without him noticing. I'm going to do that. You can go now. Eh? Mister, did you do that? Uh -huh. I'm nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there. <laughs> and he just takes it. He doesn't try and push it over or anything. <laughs> Stealth! I did it! My mission was a success! Yay, I can finally get to Papa! Okay, I'm off! 
They'll be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my mission. Oh no, she's gonna steal my rock. No! No! Madison! My rock! What is this? How did it even get there? <laughs> Local man scared of plank of wood. Didn't even bother looking over. This guy's afraid of the concept of wood, apparently. How did it even get there? Um. We seem to have encountered a problem. Uh, my. <laughs> my rock! Try flying. I'm not worried about getting down here. I'm worried about the rocks. My fancy rock is gone. Oh man, I need to pop my neck. Ah, feels good. This thing is. Ah, are you interested in this too? Pulcho. My cabbages! Oh. Look at this. It seems there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. Uh. But what is it, and where did it fall from? Well, you want me to show ya? <laughs> Let me introduce this world to the concept of gotcha pong. Gotcha pong! Yeah. <sighs> time to roll. Huh? That's what those things are. Yeah. There's only devices inside this thing. Yeah, a lot of them. Basically infinite. I think, yes, I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Kakariko Village in Nakluda, south of here, has one. And there's one in the southwest, too. A dig dog bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Uh, Could it be that the types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption are different? Uh, Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I need to ceremonially. I feel the need to ceremonially award you ceremonially for your big discovery. Oh, thanks. Uh, Found it well investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare. It was never seen before in the upheaval, so its properties are somewhat of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village. That's to the south here in Nakluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Get out of here. You get a Zonite. And you get a Zonite. And you get a steering stick. And you get a cannon. I love gotcha. Is that a chest? No. No, that's a, that's, that's, that's a wheel. I miss my rock. Alrighty. What y'all doing here? Oh. Hey, you didn't mention you were coming here too, mister. Yes, you stole my rock! It's strange. Papa keeps mumbling to himself. Hmm. 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 Oh. oh, it's you. So you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trying to figure out what I could possibly do for Madison. She's right there. Ooh. And well, what I came up with is this. Grudo Town is pretty far from here, and there are plenty of monsters along the way. So I thought I'd make Madison her own special hot air balloon. Mm. But I want to make it really special. Something just for her. I just... Not sure how to do that. Yeah. Special or not, I love the balloon you made, Papa. It looks like the sun. The sun. Ooh. That's it. Let's color it yellow like the sun. I've seen sun lions around here. I could use them to make a dye. But I'd get a beautiful shade of yellow from them. 
But for me to die something this size, I'd need 10 of them. Well, good news, I got like 80. Oh. You need some alliance, Papa? Those are the bright yellow flowers, right? I'll make finding them my new mission. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the thought, but it's much too difficult. Sundalions are quite rare. I'm not even sure where you'd find them. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I've seen a sundalion before. It was attached to the ruins. It fell from the sky. The sky, huh? Hey, I've got like a million of them. You want some? If only I had ten sundalions, then I'd be able to dye the balloon a bright yellow. But I don't know where I'm going to get them from. Here you go. Huh? That's awesome! You did it! You really collected tree you really and truly collected ten of them! What's this? You found them all for us? Uh, looks like I'll have no problem dying the balloon the color of the second second second. Oh, I wasn't any help at all. I felt my missing. That's not true, Madison. Not rare enough, apparently. Link, we need you to go find ten of this ultra rare and very, very hard to to come a, to come into contact with item. Drops backpack full of item. Phone keeps blowing up. Keep trying to watch out of you, little damn it, people. Why'd you got a bomb in your phone? That's what you get for buying Samsung. Ha ha! It's funny because it was horrifying. Your papa is about to turn this balloon into the sun, isn't he? I know, why don't you help me with that? I will, I will, Papa. I'll help make you I'll help you make the sun. Adorable. Mm -hmm. can quality blinkin' we're done. <laughs> That's why every son chooses Hudson Constructs Sun <laughs> Lovely. Oh. At last it's done. And morning is here already. I'm just happy I get to watch my little one sleep a bit longer. Uh. Hudson. Mm. Oh, Ronson, what's wrong? No, don't tell me. <sighs> yes, our escort has arrived and is waiting at the village entrance. Oh. I see. All right. Oh. Let's all go together then. In Madison's special sun balloon. Would you consider joining us as well? Sure. You know, from with the lighting that was going on, it looked like Link wasn't wearing pants. Wow, I feel like it's, I feel like I've turned into a bird. <laughs> oh, Madison, don't make such a ruckus. You do not want to fall from this height. Hey, everyone, take a look at that. The sun is waking up. Oh. It's a blessing to start the... It's a it's blessing the start of your journey, Madison. Whether you're in Gerudo Town or Terrytown, never forget that we are all standing beneath the very same sun. <laughs> the only distance that matters is the distance between our hearts. So you see, your mama will always be beside you. We'll be touching down soon. Hold on tight. So is the Grudo escort going to take the hot air balloon? How's this going to work? That's a very pretty vi vista, by the way. Vista. One last, this game is so pretty before the end. Papa, your present made me very happy. Oh. Madison, you know, if you get lonely, you can come back and eat. Sorry, never mind. Papa needs to be strong, just like you. My little Madison, it's time for you to go on your big adventure. Oh. Yes, it's time. Oh. You can trust me. I'll take care of your Papa and Mama. Don't worry, you can go. Become a wonderful Vi and come back with lots of stories to tell. 
I can't wait to hear about your adventures. Oh. I'll come visit you in Gerudo Town sometime. When I do, let's play again. <laughs> Thank you, every son. I mean, Sarkso. Oh. I'm going to become a great boy, just like Mama. I'll be a wonderful boy like Papa. Hi. Savo Ork, every son. Oh. Bronson, did I manage to keep a smile on my face? Oh. Yes, you did great. She didn't cry, so it's good we didn't cry either. Now, this is the start of a new life for us, too. Mm? Let's pull ourselves together, if you're ready. Mm. Yes, you're right, of course. <laughs> I, okay, I'm, I'm ready. Oh. Ah, sorry about that. You know, you really were a big help to me. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Literally getting a call every couple of minutes, no clue what's happening. Hopefully nothing, nothing bad. Jeez. The want to live in this town grows even more. It seems like, su they seem like such nice people. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Those Sunday Lions were pretty valuable, weren't they? Well, as a way of saying thank you, please take this. I mean, honestly, they're not that valuable. They're not worth a hundred rupees. <laughs> and this is from me. They definitely weren't worth 200. You've already helped me so much. If you ever visit Gerudo Town, please check in on Madison. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Have you forgotten that Voe aren't allowed in Gerudo Town? Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Guess it slipped my mind. <laughs> no, I've got to get back to work. Don't you have a customer waiting for you, dear? Yeah, the people of Terrytown seem like such such nice people. That was a cute quest. Sweet, you scammed them. Yay! They gave me 200 rupees for... 10 flowers. Where are they? Ten flowers. <laughs> Thought there was another call. <laughs> Jump scared by rupees. I think they sell for three apiece. You lost a rock though. It's back! Rocky has come home! Time for a dream home. Oh my god. Finally! Away from the <laughs> away from the house that Zelda stole from me. I still am not going to let that go. She stole my house. Welcome to Hudson Construction. With Madison off on her own little adventure, looks like I can resume working on dream homes. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic like a kitchen or a fully furnished room or something more. We are here for you. Maybe you want a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what all of our customers truly enjoy, which is ah. the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You can pick the rooms you want, and then you can put them together the way you've always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We give even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting the path toward dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Sarksol. Sarksol. You know, thank you. What a nice change of pace, not saving the world. Let's just headcanon that we that we're we're past that. And technically the world's already saved. So now we get to now we can just chill and build a house. <laughs> interested in a dream home? That's great! There's a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Ordinary the loan land alone would cost you three thousand, but as a special just for you, I'll offer lands rooms combination deal for fifteen hundred. I am seven rupees off. God damn it! Oh. See, well, I'll reserve the land just in case. Please come and see me if that happens. Until then, sup orc. 
Seven rupees. Ah, just short. Anyway, this guy wanted me to talk to him after that. What I'm trying to say is... The Coblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like a loaf. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite floopy, and its horn goes zwiff. That the big description of yours. Can't quite say I get the picture. What's going on? Ooh. Ah, hello. I appreciate you helping with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. Bronson is back to worrying about those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. No, oh, sorry, if you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener, thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved into Dairytown the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Sorry, sorry. I am an awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a pecoblin if I could, but there is no art to be found in the bones of my body. Bro. I have never related to a character more in my life! Hurts more when you're closer. Right? Because it's like, I could have bought that. I could have bought that. And I can't. But fret not! I, Kilton, will describe the monster with you to you with some more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Ah, uh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. I need a picture of a moblin. Okay. guy. Hey, guy. Hey. Uh, huh. I need to sell you. Like, uh, here, yeah, I've got like a ton of these. Mm. Here we go. Uh. All right. Oh my god, I didn't even consider these are wind attacks. Yeah! Bronson, I have money! Oh. Yes! I know, I know it's discounted. Let's buy it! <laughs> We're glad to have you as a customer. We can get started right away. As I mentioned, we already have a prime, prime plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southeast of here, and it has an excellent view. Well, it is a bit far away. There's a shrine over in that direction, okay? Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with him there for more details. <laughs> I hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home. Sav Ork! Home, home on a range! <laughs> Alright. Before we do that, gotta figure out where this thing goes. All's well. Hate that guy. All right. Music is helping a lot with my mood now. Zelda town music in general is very relaxing. I would strongly urge or recommend the Outset Island theme from Wind Waker as a general mood boost music. Highly recommended. Alright, he said he found it down here. Only question is where here? I'm going to throw myself down a well. Yippee! Frog, frog. Ooh. Knock, knock. Oh! Anyway. Ooh, 
Ooh, rock salt. Sick. Discovery, the construction site cave. What's going on in here? Oh my god. They got Zona devices out the ass. Look at all this. Or I'll be honest I'm thinking about like it looks like Link is in high heels right now by the way fucking slay but I'm thinking about like this is like this is probably going to be the last stream of tears of the kingdom at least anywhere in the near future and it's making me feel weird It's like when you Like when you finish a book series Or you finish a show And you're like Now what? <laughs> even though I know now I, Even though I know what now It's fear and hunger and cry of fear Lots of fear in our near future Our fear future The music isn't helping with that feeling It's just so nice Playing this through has really made me want to go back and replay Breath of the Wild. And maybe do some of the side quests that I never did. Because when I streamed it, I basically rushed the main story. Instead of doing, like, any of the side content. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? Can't grab anything. Maybe I'll play that again later. That's another later thing. I should probably play non-Zelda games for a while, for a bit. Maybe you have to place a specific item there. That's a possibility. I'm not too concerned with that. That though, um, I really want to find where the shrine goes. You know what would help with that? This is going to put the rock back. But if I go underground, I can find the light route and I'll know exactly where the shrine is. <sighs> oh yeah, this was in a pit. I remember now. I probably shouldn't have come down here. I probably should have started from upstairs. Alright. So let's go. Let the squad handle the random Lizalfos. When I finished the final Forgotten Realms book about Drizzt, I felt kind of ruined. I haven't gotten into anything that, like that since almost 20 years ago. Good luck, dude. I've been like that before. I once spent like four years trying to watch one anime because every time I'd find it, it'd get taken down and I could never find a legal copy because I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. And once I finally got, like I got the actual like DVD set and I finished it, I was like devastated. had almost a similar feeling with uh, Wheel of Time. Like, I love Wheel of Time. And when the last book came out, I was like, huh. I've got nothing to read anymore. <laughs>
And then the show came out and I was happy again. <laughs> and then I found out that there's a first person shooter? Like an old Unreal style FPS game? That I actually bought. I found it for like 10 bucks. So I bought it. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's just something. It's not that big a deal. All right. Keep heading east. Weast. A little bit south. Game Grave Anime did that as well. Yeah, like anything after that epic. I never really got into Gun Grave. I had a friend who really was, and he kept trying to get me into it. It just never clicked with me. But I can respect liking it. Ooh, big rock. so intense from what i from what i watched it, it, it did seem so oh god there's a muck to rock here bro i'm just looking for a light route Anything, uh, anything I get invested in won't be able to return to after a long time. I'm scared I won't be able to get the same enjoyment. I can understand that. I find it pretty hard to get into things nowadays as well. This game is like one of the first times I've gotten into something new in quite a while. What's this? A soldier's spear. Sick. Someone tells me the light route is this way. Wrong way. Oh my god. Underground Jesus. I've enjoyed this game a lot. Yeah. Closest I've gotten to being this excited to play something was Final Fantasy XIV. Which is fantastic. Went back to Dragon Age Inquisition. It felt so fresh after so long. I felt gl felt glad for that. Is it blasphemous to say I've never actually played Dragon Age? <laughs> Is that blasphemy? Also, there is no light route anywhere down here. That feels like a problem. Back off, Rock. Yeah. Get out of here. Never played Mass Effect. Never played Just Cause. Never played Dragon Age. Only ever played the first Zelda. It is what it is. I haven't played a Mario game since, um, Super Mario 64. 
And I've never played Pikmin. Where's the shrine? Yeah, whatever. Let's go do our house building. Oh, yeah. Tingle Island, by the way. Tingle, tingle, kulu, limpa! Pretty sure you lost some subs because of it. I deserve it. Mass Effect is holy the first three, anyway. I remember when... The biggest controversy in gaming was the three different colored endings of three. I remember when that was the thing that people were most mad about. <sighs> Andromeda was ha off somehow. It was handled by someone else, and that was also after the acquisition by EA, wasn't it? Hello! I'm here to build my house. Sonny and I! Grantason. Hey, hello, you must be Link. I'm Grantason of Hudson Construction. Ronson told me about you. I'm here to answer all your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, if I could direct your attention this way. Ah, this is the plot of land you purchased. God, I bought a huge house. You place the rooms we sell here well. You're on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Oh. Let's see. Looks like your contract includes two rooms. Uh -huh. Excellent. Two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. Oh, my God. Can you buy more rooms? Mm. These are the rooms. One on the left is a foyer, and one on the right is a bedroom. They're covered with nets to protect interiors, but don't worry. We'll remove them once construction is complete. People lost their shit over the ending. It was insane. I remember people, like, mailed cupcakes. Like, thousands of cupcakes to them. Like, psycho stuff. They're covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry. We'll remove them once the construction is complete. Ah. Now all you need to do is place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms so they'll fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing. You can always only place rooms on the roped off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Ah. Now let me know when you're done so I can perform an inspection. With that, please thoroughly enjoy taking your first step towards building your dream home. So it looks like there's a total of 15. I think I've beaten it five to six times. People don't know what's good. Yeah. <laughs> looks like my only option is this. Yeah, it looks like that's my only option. Never heard of the cupcake thing. There was a lot of psycho shit happening at the time. It was madness. All right. Well done. Working on, I see. What can I do for you? I'm done. Mm. Start the inspection right away. Can't you place it on top? Well, the ropes are ah. empty walls. Like, they're empty. So if I don't want there to be a giant hole, <laughs> I need to put it like that. Didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go inside. <laughs> Tell me that was your first time. Nice work. Your dream home is complete and last, so congratulations. Oh. I'll call Ronson over. Please wait here just for a moment. Thanks, Grante. Oh. Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? Of course, this is only the first step. The real building process begins now. I hope you continue to explore building your dream home. 
After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with Grantason if you want to know more about them. This isn't much, but here's a little gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Hey! A goofy fabric! Mm. I'll be on their side as long as it takes to build the dome of your dreams. Why don't you take a look at the inside of the rooms you placed? We're looking around at all the fighting and felt totally at peace, live long and prosper. I was completely unaffected. I just thought it was funny. Because I was completely uninvested in, my, in Mass Effect at all. You'll let it zoom out only to show a ton of empty space. Yeah. Wow, look at all this space you're not using. There we go. Real ancient Greek chic. See the little um like roped areas are open, so I got a bed. I got a bookcase. Where who whose books are these? I don't own these. Link can't read. He's not literate. We've established this. Um, my immersion! My roleplay! Alright. Link is now a property owner. Now what? Hmm. I should probably tell them that they're sad that they're say their uh, village is safe. Is there a way to add decorations? Probably if you buy more stuff. It's 444, make a wish. It's 644 for me. No. Yeah, I should go tell them that Luralin village is safe. But probably when you buy new houses and stuff, like new rooms. Oh, you can see the outline of your property on the map. I just noticed that. Hey, Carson. See? Why didn't you do this sooner? Because I wanted to make sure that the main quest was done. Would have loved to see the house evolve. Yeah. But it needs a lot of money. <laughs> hey, I finished the thing. I'm worried sick about everyone there in the village. Maybe I should go ahead back there and show about the situation. Don't be ridiculous. The pirates are really dangerous. Losing my hometown was enough, but losing you too? Not an option. Ah, customer. Sorry about that. We were caught up in conversation. I saved the village. Pirates are already gone! Roselle and everyone from the village are okay too! Oh. Thank goodness! I'm so glad. They're all safe. I was beside myself. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us the best possible news! <laughs> Please have this as a sign of our gratitude. He's the dreamer of the dream. We are just listening. Oh my god. Have I achieved Chim? That mighty salt grilled crab is my finest cooking. It's a dish there that really brings out the warrior in you. Please enjoy. Mm. Well, the pirate's gone, I have to wonder how our little shop back home is doing. Looking. Even. Even if I have to go to my village on my own, I'm going to return to village on my own. On my own. Oh. Even with the pirates out of the picture, there's work to be done. They're going to be busy for a while, rebuilding the houses and shops. Mm. Without any woodworking skills, you'd just get in the way if you went back now. Instead, we should focus on saving up money in the meantime. Oh. That way, once the village is restored, we'll have the means to reopen our shop there. Oh. You're right, let's keep the business here rolling until the village is back to normal. Okay, so I guess it wants me to finish building the village. Which I believe I need like a million logs to do. I need rice and logs. You know what? New outfit time. God, that one looks like ass. Oh, 
Oh my. Is Link wearing pants under there? You'll never, <laughs> you'll never know. You're gonna have a shit ton of fun with the house designs. It looks like, it looks so fun. It reminds me of, um, a Fallout 4 building, if Fallout 4 building was good and not infuriating. I need to buy a, a lot of rice. <laughs> Zan Mix Shrine. Get mods fixes all that. Yeah, but I'm talking about the base. Oh, this technically counts as a hammer. I need to play Fallout 4 again. I streamed it years ago and I beat the base game. But I need to stream the DLC. I've still never played Far Harbor. Hello, local pantsless wonder here to buy all your all your rice. I think the grass here spawns rice. There's a similar thing with Fallout 3. I played the base game and then I wanted to do the DLC and I never did. It was just slam the door in my face. It's Ganondorf. It's him making fun of me. I thought rice spawned in here. I guess not. Oh my god, rice! We found it! The rice! Got mods for drivable buildings, no clip buildings. <laughs> yeah, no clip building was a very popular mod, I know. So many others. Mine just let me use the Coca-Cola paint. The, the new Coca-Cola, sorry. The new Coca-Cola paint on my armor at any time. Cause like my playthrough gimmick was a guy like a guy obsessed with new Coca-Cola. My only healing was new Coca-Cola uh, product. So we're ignoring the rest of the sentence. That's just regular. That's just what people do in <laughs> in uh, Bethesda games. It's not surprising. <laughs> Never played a Bethesda game before. Never been to Nexus. Never been to Planet Elder Scrolls. Rest in peace. You will be missed. I think I have enough race. Yeah, I do. All right, sick. Now I need logs. They want 10 of them. You know what? We're going to the stable. I'm going to get a horse. We're going to put a towing harness on him. And we're going to bring 10 logs. Please tell me this is being uploaded on YouTube later. Yeah. Um, as the internet here is still shit, I still, in order to have a decent quality R uh, VOD, am still uploading them. Couldn't imagine life without Bethesda. Morrowind shaped my fucking childhood. Like, so much. God. Who? Please. Please be good, Starfield. Please be good. I'm praying to the golden goddesses right now. 
Hylia, Den, Nehru, Ferrore, please make Starfield good. <laughs> I want it to be good so bad, dude. Uh. Oh. Oh. Come here, Mega Mind. All right, X, body spray. These count as axes. I need 10 logs. Beetle believes in you. I love Beetle. What a good boy. Eh? I don't think I can cut down any of these trees. I can cut down, that's not a tree. Uh-oh, it's a blood moon. Tell him the Elder Gate, <laughs> God Todd. God Howard. Oh, hey. Prefer just Starfield with full confidence. I probably would have as well. Um, but I don't have anything that can run it. Like, the only time I have, like, qualms about pre-purchasing, like, pre-buying things that I know I'm going to play is if it's more expensive. Like, if you know you're going to play a game, regardless of the reviews, you might as well. Right? Like, I did the same with, um, Victoria. Victoria 3. I was like, I know regardless of what this game gets rated as, I am going to buy it. Be a missing person for at least a month. <laughs> That's what happened to me when Fallout 4 came out. I did nothing but breathe that game. You're about the dude that woke that came out of a fallout 4 binge it was in like in russia or something he came out of, of like a week-long fallout or like yeah it was like a week-long fallout 4 binge to find out he'd been divorced and fired <laughs> because no one could talk to him Hold up. Holy crap. Holy crap, Lewis. Yeah, it was crazy. That guy got owned. Not that bad. I imagine most sane people are not that bad. That guy was just spectacularly dumb. You know what else is dumb? design I'm doing to keep this thing up. This is a terrible design. But here we are. Yeah, that'll work. Let it go, Addison. Once you stop freaking out. There you go. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, it worked. <laughs> ah. Ah. The sign will just be a little crooked. I love how it saves the angle that it's set at. So like the sign will always be tilted. Knew a couple of brothers who were like that after Fallout. Those guys became a whole new level of disgusting. Ah. Wonderful. Oh. All right, time to find logs that I can cut. Oh God, my harness. Yeah, some people just are like that for video games and like, I love video games. I play them probably way more than I should, but like, what the hell is that thing? Oh, it's a Lizalfos. 
Like, you gotta go to work. You should probably talk to your wife. There was a haze in their place, not just from smoke. Oh my god. They exuded gamer. I need to find some trees. Please. I need these. Oh my god, he's so fast. You have my support. I know what I want to build. A biome of pure nasty. Yeesh. I mean, my room is filthy. That's because it's hard for me to do it to like get myself to do things. Like, just in general. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm definitely not interested in living in that kind of filth realm. Come on. Get in the hole. Is everything sticky? Some of it is. I have a cat, so, you know... Things happen. I'm back from feeding my cat. I hope the cat is good. I just shoved this piece of hard wood in that hole. What'd you miss? Link took his pants off. He doesn't know how to put them back on. Is Link wearing pants? Who knows? Lovely. How's the president ah. standing? Also talking about gamer haze and executive dysfunction. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, this guy ah. makes better sunny food than I do. This guy ah. just gave me the key to killing Ganon. <laughs> All right, trees. And they can't be from Luralin. What the hell? Just a grime of brown yellows. Oh my God. My room's not that bad. It just needs a good sweeping. Cause my cat sheds like a motherfucker. All right, I think I can get the logs from up here. And use these as well. I'm not dumb. Oh. Harming <laughs> a tree? Does your evil know no bounds? This is for Master Koga! Oh. <laughs> Bitches don't know about my president Hudson Guster. Ha! Ah! Get it off me. <laughs> I guess they did know. They were prepared! Alright. Actual weapon. Get him! Jesus! Gotta eat all my burned bananas because of you. I missed. Ah! 
Give me that, give me that, give me that. Yeah! I said, yeah! Oof, ah, oof, oof. Get owned. Dork. Anyway. Turns out those weren't real trees. Definitely saving this full stream. Aw, oh, jeez. Glad you're enjoying it. Megamind, please go up the hill. Hmm. Two things next to each other. Wowie. All right. I'll just bring him down. That's fine. All right. Oh my God, it's a goat. Gonna get your goat. This guy needs to die. Ah! Oh! The trees! Consume watermelon! And a pepper. Terry Town's music increased my <laughs> my enjoyment. That was some good music. That was A plus town music. Bro, I just wanted to chop some trees. All right. Time to start building my log collection. Ooh. I can't stop. Three. Four. Five. Five! He missed. He's dumb. He missed. Jump him! Dumb tree! Local hobo attacked by wildlife. Pantsless wonder loses fight to tree. Fights tree, loses. There we go, so that the colors match. Oh my god! Link, they gave you a prep school haircut! <laughs> You could live in it, the tree? I could live in the tree. I just watched you respawn. What were you thinking was going to happen here? Oh, hey, monster extract. Nice. We have a wayside on. Four. Five. All right. Five. Seven. Eight. That's not correct. There we go. Nine. Oops. Ten. Get out of my way! Heckin' sages keep getting in the way. Perfect. This will probably be the last thing I do for the day. It might be the last thing we see from Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I 
Hey, you think you can carry this mega mind? <laughs> Let's go. Other way. Oh. All right, fine. I'll miss the series. This was a lot of fun. This game, very good. I give it a very good. Need to build a cart to put all this on. But hey, there'll be more games. I have to beat Cry of Fear in two and a half hours to unlock the to, to unlock something that's basically necessary for nightmare mode. So there's that to look forward to. That'll take at least that'll that'll probably take multiple runs to do. None like Tears of the Kingdom. That's true. I do have another Zelda game on my Switch. Y'all wanna watch Hyrule, Cadence of Hyrule? <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. I think you're stuck on your own harness, buddy. Come on, let's go. Oh my God, this is taking forever. All right, get out from under there. Next video is you in a tight shot, gently weeping. Bro, don't spoil. This lady will never get to Luralyn. If every time she gets close, she runs back in the rain. You must give all your horses apples. That sounds like an idea. But it'll only happen if Megamind transports the goddamn wood! Oh my god, dude! Just go! Could have built a car and did this faster. Uh oh. See, this is what you get! Now you're being run down! Ah! Now I'm being run down! Help! My wood! No! <sighs> Please. Oh, head doggy. Please. <laughs> no. No. There's only five of them left. Only five of them survived. Five. Six. Seven. My wood. Fuck you, Ocean! Stole my wood! Eh. There you go. Oh. Well, well, well. You've got right to work gathering logs, I see, may I? Yeah. Seeing someone work so hard, and in the rain even, it warms my heart. Thank you. I'll be sure to take good, good care of this. Thanks for getting those logs. That makes seven in our collection. Oh. Just eight more and we'll have all the logs we need. I thought you needed ten. Well, you're at it. Could you collect twenty? It was fifteen! Or ten! It was ten! 
Bolson! Oh. We're gonna restore these charming buildings to, ye to their former glory, you and me, baby. Here's yeah. some rice. You gathered those right quick, you didn't you? You move fat. Hold up. There's not enough here. Need 20 bundles of Hylian rice total. It might be a little rough, tough to find. But I know you, and you're not the type to give up at the first sign of adversity, so get it, keep at it! Oh. Taking this palm fruit and leaving. Man, just up the price as I delivered it. I'm so mad. <laughs> Mouth hurts from smiling too much. <laughs> I'm glad my pain is amusing. No, 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 no. Get up. Yep. Sick. Where am I going to get the rest of the logs? Ah. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, hey, a dragon. I think that's major. No, that's probably Farosh, actually. Oh. Alright, I'll just teleport up to the sky. Jeez. Wait, these are all so far away. Hey, Eventide, do you got a beach or a boat? I'm gonna crash a boat into this island with like a million logs attached to it. I love a boat. There's a boat. Can I use that boat? Nope. Boat's not real. Boat's fake. Don't acknowledge it. It's not real. Razor claw 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 claw. Hmm. I wonder if he'll be mad if I take these these trees over here. Probably. I guess it's time to find out. Fuck around and or find out, as they say. It's like that mathematical... Like, um, equation. You ever seen that video? The graph between the, um... The equivalence of fucking around and finding out. Trees are up there. Might actually be able to get enough trees just from over here. Heard of it. That video is very funny. Oh my god! Leave my horse alone! Leave my horse alone! No, my log! Yawn. Where do you think you're going? Having to actually deliver logs. Man. 
They started dropping monster extract now, so that's cool, I guess. Also, I think it killed all of the lizards with the con- with the- The, uh... The force of the tree hitting the ground, I think, killed all of the <laughs> lizards that fell out. As you can see on the graph, the more that they fuck around, the more they will find out. Guys, please! I'm trying to get wood! That's what she said! There's a funny compilation, the wood has to be part of it. Oh, there'll probably be multiple wood-related shorts, or at least one, that come out eventually. I'm trying to light nearby. Oh, jeez, I wonder where I could be. It's actually over there. Any of you evil? Screw you, nature! <laughs> oh, bye, lizards. <laughs> like a million lizards just scurried off into the abyss. Alright. How many is that? Four? Five. Seven. Eight. Is that a cow or a lawnmower? Really, what's the difference? Nine. All right, cool. All right. No way! What the? Where did you come from? You can't have my wood! Stop shooting it! It's innocent! Stop shooting my wood! Oh my god, the physics! Uh, okay. It's okay, my child. You were fine. Not again! It's okay. It's okay. Eh. Still smacking wood? Yeah, I'm smacking my wood. Okay, dude, I'll take care of good, yeah, good care of that. Mm. Thanks for getting after those logs. I make 16, maybe 20 oh. bundles are full of rice. Mm. The tide oh. had gone to the ocean again. <laughs> <A> Triton! <laughs> Hark! Dropping logs, making big ol' splash, dissolving into the water. I would've had to go into the ocean and fight Poseidon one-on-one. -on -one. Well, time to become a lawnmower. Need a lighter item. Not you. You. Now we need like a million things of rice. We're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> Hurry up! Be free, Cricket. I am not going to hit the dog, do not worry. Did not realize how hard I was smiling until it started to fade away. I am sorry for destroying your poor face. 
<laughs> Take him. He wears seashells for armor. Well, I mean, I don't even wear pants. I don't know if I can. I got a haircut that says all boys high school and no pants. I, I don't know. He might have more riz. All right, that should be all 20. Finally. I'm free. Oh, geez, chatbot. <laughs> this chat feature is really good at keeping up. All right, Bolson! I've come to bargain! Where'd he go? There he is. Hiding under a tree, I see. Huh? We have to come shore up the foundation or I'll come crashing down. We've already gathered all the logs we need. The only is 20 bundles of rice. Here's the rice. Whoa, just look at you go! I like the hustle! First thing you've got to do is use those logs you collected to shore up the foundations under the buildings. It's so old type for just a bit, okay? I'll do the foundation work and check the state of the buildings while I'm at it. I'll be back before you know it. At least this guy actually knows how to build. Like, Grante, Grantason just stands there while you do it. Bolson actually knows how to build. Link does look like a child. He is so small. There's an intimidating angle of the dangle, I guess. Oh my. Okie do. Sorry for the wait. So, Link does hang low, is what you're saying. The foundations are nice and solid. Now it's time to move on to repairing the buildings. Ah. There are five buildings that need fixing. Three of them are establishments, the inn, the restaurant, and the lucky treasure shop. And two of them are homes, the village head's house and Armis's house. The repair process will depend on the building we're working on. So I'll explain once you, once you decide where we start. Uh -huh. Now we're getting to the real meat of the Great Luralin Village Revival. So which building should we get to work on? Should probably build the houses first. Why did I imagine I'm not using his arms? You ever seen that old you are a pirate animation? With the ninja and the shovel? I imagine that's very much how these buildings were rebuilt. Build the houses. Which house is the lucky one? Let's build the mayor's house because he's actually here. We're building the house for the village head, are we? House is there. This is where the village head and his family live. They've been letting me stay with them, too. Ah, oh, it was so cozy. They didn't even, even had a little something from Princess Zelda on display. Then along came those awful monsters. Mm. How about we head over there so I can explain what we need to do to fix the place up? All right. <laughs> Okie do. Please follow me. Oh. All right, here we are. The central pillar is broken, and we have to fix it pronto. My name's not pronto. After all, it provides vital support to the whole building. I already used the logs you collected to shore up the foundation, so... Oh. Look at that house, at this house over here. We'll need to just stick a palm tree log through the detached hut, too. There are even holes for central pillar in the floor and roof and floor. It's where the log is supposed to go. Of course, there are plenty of logs to be had from palm trees growing around here. But now we're going to put one of those logs through the holes in the floor and the roof. Might say it's a real stumper. Well, well, well. An angry inch, 12 inches of princess bait. How do you think he keeps catching all these fish?
You think Princess Rudo loved him for his conversation? Then? Uh. Eh. Yes! I'm a genius. Get in the hole. There you go. I did it. Whew, it's perfect. Couldn't have find a better place to hold a better pillar to hold this place up myself. I stole the tree right next to it. Just leave the rest to me. I'm on it. The mental image. Five feet tall, <laughs> one foot is just <laughs> is his third leg. Bolson, da 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 Bolson! Bolson, da 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 Bolson! Sha 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 ding! Ha! Ha! Okie do, all done. It's all done. From here on out, we'll have a, a comfy place to sleep at night. I thought I heard the sound of hammering coming from the house. It's exactly how it was before. Luckily, the house's main building went undamaged, but the detached hut where Bolson stay is staying was destroyed. I was so worried about finding a place for him to sleep, but not anymore. Mm. Sorry I had to go out of the trouble of fixing up our house. Here, I'd like to give you something for the repairs. <gasps> oh my god, it's a fish. This is the tastiest fish you can catch around here. Really, let's do it, whatever you like. It's always delicious. There was a picture from Princess Zelda on display in the detached hut. Wait, let's make sure it's not damaged. Hey, hey, this is no time for resting on laurels. There's work to do and it ain't doing itself. Look, you and me, we're beasts of construction. We'll have this village put back together in no time. You know, where's a little green hat as well? Little cocksock. <laughs> drowned in, drown in gloom. Soon for lying. Hmm. What the? I should have whistled at Ganondorf. That would have been so funny. Fuck. <laughs> Man. Build another house. Arms' house is the only one that needs fixing. Arms' house is there. I recall Arms said he wanted a spot outside to display his biggest catches. Why don't we relocate to Arms' house for a bit? It'll be easier for me to explain what we need to do. Oh. Red Hot Chili Peppers from the 90s? Yeah. Okie do. Please follow me. Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken, so we have to repair it pronto. I already shored up the building's foundation using the logs you collected for me. So if we can place a log from a palm tree through the holes in the roof and floor, like I mentioned, that should do it. When you pick a palm tree log, just make sure it's a stray one. You and me, pal, let's return these places to their former glory. Well, this is a pretty straight tree, so... Up it goes. I'm so disappointed in myself. There you go. Oh, it's perfect. Gonna found a better pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave the rest to me. I may be losing my mind. Oh, my house is fixed. You really fixed it. Thank you. I can finally get back to making a living. I'm really sorry I wasn't any help. Please take this as kind of as a kind of apology. Hey, 50 bucks. That almost makes up for all of the wood. Now I can go fishing again. 
You know, I don't need very many fish to feed myself, so I share the extras I catch with other folks. <laughs> I usually save them for people here in the village, but I really owe you for fixing my house. I have extras to share, I'll put them in front of my house. Please take whatever you need. Oh. Hey, it's not time for us, yo. Alrighty. You. What are you? Oh my god, it's a bloopy. It's just strap on a sock and wiggle your foot. Hmm. You think Link makes noises whenever he flexes? Cut! 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 He does the pose too. Let's see, is there something gross I can eat? Nah. I don't think there is. But I like to imagine that he does like the, the power up pose while he's doing it, like the arms, like the elbows crooked, the knees bent. Hot! Hot! Oh. All right, let's fix the inn. We fixed up all the houses. Now time to move on to the establishments. Let's build the inn. We're building the inn, are we? Oh. The inn is over there. Known far and wide for its salt spa. These herbs and whatnot to soothe travelers sore and weary muscles. Mm. Let's move over to the inn so I can get a better job. <laughs> you know, I really should have done... The oh. Terrytown quest instead of Lurlin the other day when I was doing side quests. Because this is way longer. Mm. You see the frame and central pillar managed to hold up just fine. Surprised at the lack of anime posing. Just go full Team Rocket. If you want anime poses in this game, you go to Cat. You go to Hateno. Talk to Cece. She'll give you your poses. Frame of the central pillar managed to hold up just fine. But if you look inside, you'll see there's a puddle of rainwater. Getting rid of the water won't be difficult, but the junk in there is a hazard. It'll make it impossible for me to work. Mm. Don't want to damage the framing since we're lucky it's intact, but I'm not trying to get rid of the debris. It won't be easy, but I think we're gonna have to pull it piece by piece out from above. Mm -hmm. Once all that junk is gone, I'll start rebuilding work right away. It will look incredible. I can't walk in the front. I gotta go. Whoa, hey, that's a lot more water than I was anticipating. Uh oh. Mistake. <laughs> ah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Take this as tribute, Triton. Please take no more from me. Jojo posing. Ganondorf looks like he could be a Jojo character. Mm. Had to remove the debris in there. Believe it or not, I think we gotta pull out each and every piece. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. I thought I did. I thought I pulled it all out. But there were only three. What the? Oh, there's pieces of wood. Uh-oh. Loggy, come back. The full Power Ranger, none shall survive. Nah, dude, common Rider. I used to watch the Power Ranger movie with Ivan Ooze every day, constantly. I loved that movie so much. Hmm. Well, well, I'm betting someone got rid of all that junk. That someone is you, by the way. I know, I'm awesome. Just leave the rest to me, I'm on it. Time to drain an entire boat. <laughs> Huh? <laughs>
Do you know that there is a Legend of Zelda TV show? <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Restored to its former glory. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. This is Game Boy Power Rangers game. I can't remember the na name of for the life of me. I kind of remember that game. I don't think I played it, but I remember it. The owner can move back at any old time. Wow! What is going on? I thought the pirates destroyed my place. Her name is Jessica. Jessica! Do anything to play it again. Well, let's go look it up, shall we? Do a rewatch of Astro Boy. I've never seen Astro Boy. Do it. Game Boy Power Rangers game. Oh, there was a lot of them. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is the one that I found. Just called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it's $450 on eBay. But here it is, as good as new. Ma. You two rebuilt it, didn't you? I was hiding out in the Gerudo region in the southwest, but it's just sand as far as the eye can see. I miss the ocean so much, I had to come back. And then I found this. I can't believe my end is all fixed up. I'm stunned. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really must give you a thank you gift. Hey, Volt Fruit. <laughs> I brought this back as a little treat for everyone. Please come by and enjoy our famous salt spa. No time to waste. The inn is open for business as of today. Sick. Oh. What should we fix next? Mm. Let's do the restaurant so people can eat. I think I'm gone. Astro Boy is the she's in it. It's classic. I've never seen it, but I know it's good. And I know that guy was super cool and invented like every anime genre. The Gerbet is known for its incredible quiz we when you know. They were for the issues from a little bit weird. How we to be relocated to the way one's way to a better job explaining the way of the way they do. Well, get ready, please, fellow me. Good luck deciphering what the hell just came out of my mouth. Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. The central pillar is broken. Already short of the foundation. There's a log. Da 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 da. Oh. Okay. Go to Bessie. They better duck, Bolson. Yeah, like if there's a anime genre, there's a good... There's a good chance that Tezuka, I believe his name is, invented it. I don't think that was the right one. Ah. I'm sorry. Well, there was a lot of them, it seemed, so... This is also original Game Boy. Are you thinking, like, Game Boy Advance or SD or something? Because there's also like four Game Boys. <laughs> I think it was Game Boy Advanced. Let's look that up then. Game Boy Advance. Power Rangers game. Got SPD. Wild Force. Time Force. There's a lot of them. Light Speed. Dino Thunder. Yeah, there's a lot of them. On the GBA. Ma. 
Get a load of my handiwork. Talk about a perfect respira restoration job. The old building skills are still sharp as nails, baby. Now all we have to do is wait for the owner to return and... Hey, here I am. Am I dreaming? Uh. Wow, but it was all broken before. Uh. Look, Zuna, our house is all better now. Uh. I just came to check on my restaurant in my house. I was so worried about them. Was... was it you? Did you fix them? Thank you so much. Please, I want you to have this. Hey, rice. Hi. Of all the dishes we serve at our restaurant, this is the one I'm most proud of. Please stop by anytime you're hungry. I'll treat you to the meals and ice of which you've never tasted before. Hi. As of now, Azure Bay is open for business. Sick. Ta da. Hey, let's build the last place. The lucky treasure shop is the only one that needs fixing. Oh. Over there, let's go. It's a charming spot that beguiles travelers with a treasure game that rumor has it. Rumor has it! No one ever loses. Mm. How about we head to the lucky treasure shop? Let's go. <laughs> Okie doo! Oh. All right, here we are. Hmm. A palm tree grew through the roof up on the second story. It was a bit of a landmark, actually, but, well, the damage was worse than I thought. I built the foundation using logs you collected for hmm. me. This building is so big that rather than connecting the roof and floor, the palm tree logs should go in the plant, plant pot on the second floor and then up through the hole in the roof. Oh. You can get yourself a straight one. The plant pot and through the roof. So set it up here. I thought that tree was a terrifying creature. <laughs> I peeked it through the crack and I was like, oh god! Demons! Flip it. Uh oh. Uh, physics! Uh, uh-oh. Huh. Something tells me that's not quite right. <laughs> get it. Get the, get the wood out of the hole! Thank you. There you go. Ma -ha. Ma -ha. Ooh, it's perfect. You couldn't have found a better... It's me, I'm Do you think this is Lurlin fully completed? Ha! That laugh sounds like the old guy from Majora's Mask, the um astronomer. Yes, it's perfecto! It's the biggest building in the village, so returning it to its former glory wasn't easy, but the owner is going to love it. Wow, 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 what exactly is going on here? I should have bunch just done my shopping. Oh. I heard the pirates were gone and came running. Can't believe my shot. Oh, I can open my shop again. Never thought this day would come. Ah. This place means everything to me. My old man, rest his soul, left it to me. Yeah, please. Uh, so thank you. Take this. Have a bomb, kid. <laughs> I think several of them while I was hiding out. I was planning to throw them at the pirates, but there's no need for that now. Because you, the lucky treasure shop, is back in business. In fact, you don't even need rupees. You can still be broken. Come in and try your luck. Doors is open starting now. Malson, is it... Is it true? Is it true, Grandpère? The kids at school say you are a mercenary. That you kill people. <laughs> now that's an un... <laughs> that's an... Un, uh, uh. Now 
Now that was an, uh, what is the word? Uncalled for reference. Bolson, is it true? Oh. You bet it is. Every last building in the village is good as new. <laughs> Incredible. How can I ever thank you? And to think you restored the village so quickly. A feast is most certainly in order tonight. Whoa. Did you hear that? A feast. He said a feast is in order. Oh dear, you think I should change my outfit? Brain fart moment. I know. My brain ate burrito. Burrito brain. The day the pirates attacked and overran the village, I was desperate to get everyone to safety. Before I knew it, our beloved home was gone. After everyone fled, the only sound coming from Rulurilin village was the sound of monsters. I never thought, never dared dream. I'd live to see the day where we could all laugh together again like this. Sorry, I thought the music was doing some- wait. I recognize the theme. Da -da. That the music is playing, that the guitar is playing. I recognize that melody. But I don't know what from. God, it's bothering me now. I'm just going to move on. I'll ignore it. The moment right now, it's all thanks to you. Of course, I'm extremely grateful to Bolson as well. Oh. Now, now, there's no need to thank me. After all, when I first drifted into this village, you all welcomed me with open arms, didn't you? The work I did here is just my way of paying that kindness back. Bolson, thank you. This village owes you a debt. In fact, I'd think it's safe to say that you are this village's savior. Oh. Now I talked about this. I don't remember your voice, so this is your voice now. I talked about this with the rest of the folks around here. We do not have enough money or treasure to repay you for saving our home. Oh. But the treasure we do have, well, it's this village and everyone in it. So from now on, we'll do everything we can to share our hospitality with you. Fight! Never give up! Hi! For the village, you're safe. You provide a bed for free. Uh. You're also welcome to eat at our restaurant as much as you like, free of charge. Uh. Village and savior may not need his luck, but I'm sure it'd be fun to play a treasure chest game once in a while. Oh. Please feel free to take anything you can find in the village. Oh, I'm awash in emotions. I can't hold back anymore. Oh, Suda, get off! Oh. Look lively, it's time for the... <laughs> Luralyn Revival da da Dance! So just like free food, free bed. Hey, yo. That was very cute.
as infuriating as the <laughs> as losing all of my logs to the ocean was I'd say that was all in the end a very cute little quest line also I want to try this I've never done this ever come on try your luck <laughs> you're here aren't you? the giddies and the pirates packing the giddy repeat the village including this humble establishment no I ain't giving up you know I thought this town was history I'm glad you proved me wrong but enough sappy stuff, this is the lucky treasure shop where I run what you'd call a game of luck. See those treasure chests? Pick any of them and open it. Don't be shy, crack one open. Hmm. Hmm. Well, as a wise man once said, always go left. Sick. Come here, kid, let me see it. The vlogs was a necessary sacrifice. Their lives will not be forgotten. Green, okay. So that means you'll need the prize on the left. <laughs> Take it, thief. Ah. Must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. They can deliver it to your place of residence. Too bad. I don't do that. <sighs> Oops, I'll also take that rupee back. Not for you to keep. <laughs> That's a game. Pick a chest with a prize all upside. There's one catch. You have to cap how much you play or I go bankrupt. Wouldn't want to shut me down right if you put me back in business, would you? Didn't think so. Come back later if you want another round. Alright. So, like, once a day, I'm guessing. It's a shell game, yeah. But there's nothing but prizes, it seems. So, like, once a day you come here, you pick a treasure chest, and you get one of the three items he has. Oh, hey, Mega Mine's here. They brought you into the village. I'm glad they didn't leave you sitting on the hill like I did. Did your street grifter? Oh, hey. Ah, oh, giving the wings a stretch after a lot of work is the best. I'm glad I came to this Luralin place for a, for a break after all that effort with the Skyview Towers. Oop. Sorry for banging on my microphone. Just take it all in. The smell of the sea... The fresh scent off the waves. We just don't have that where we're from. Ah. So true, so true. I find it so wonderful. Bilson, I get the sense that you and I, we might have a lot in common. Oh. So not every day I meet another Rito who'd really like to, who'd really take to a place like this. The smell of the waves really unruffles my feathers. So relaxing. Oh. I heard it called a brownie bouquet. Send of the fruits by the sea. Crabs, fish, blue shell crabs. Mm, fresh seafood all around. Glad he survived that log barrage. My pride didn't. Uh. That was destructive. <laughs> it ruined me. Damn you, Triton! Hark! Hark, Triton! Lord of the Waves! Alrighty. Best moment on the stream. I'll admit, that was a pretty clippable moment. <laughs> Alrighty. And with that, I believe we will conclude Breath of the or not Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. This game is fantastic. Easily one of the best experiences I've had in years. And something that I'll probably continue to play, but at this point, I think I'm done with, like, all of the story content. And it'd just be me running around and getting shrines and treasure and stuff. So there's not really anything more to see. Feed the horses, ah, you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right, and you're right. Let's go. To where we first got our horse.
<sighs> yeah, at this point, it's all like doing like labyrinths, like the, the those little puzzle things, finding shrines. Yeah, there's not much else to see outside of that. No more tears. Only dreams. Uh -huh. oh. Bring Megamind here. Ah. Megamind must feed. Uh -huh. oh. ah. hmm. Alright. I only have seven apples. Megamind, you get two. Because you're the best boy. And also my favorite child. Consume apple. <laughs> he missed the first one. There you go. Good boy. Metro Man. Get more apples. I cooked them all. It was delay ending the stream. Uh -huh. Quick, give Alan some menial task. Uh, oh. Hey there, shiny. Where you go? Now you gotta play blood and sweat. Uh -huh. Yes. Also known as fear and hunger. Is what we want. <laughs> Yeah, fear and hunger and cry of fear are the things that we will be continuing with. Um, cry of fear, I have to start over. There you go. I used you for a single quest. Because I want to do the, um... The beat the game in under two and a half hours achievement ah. thing to get the camera unlocked. So that'll be a thing we do. Where I try to beat Cry of Fear as quickly as possible. Ah. Oh. Hey, Titan. Mm. Here you go. Consume apple. Good boy. And now... For the final horse we acquired. Oh. Minion. Ah. Uh, oh. hmm? Yeah, it's me. I didn't know change it anyway. Yours looks great without him. Mm. Look at this guy. Look at this absolute fucking unit. There you go, can you reach? Oh, Jesus. He just ate my head! Mega Mind should have been the final horse. I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I like going in order. I wonder what ending you'll do. I think my intention is to do the... In Fear and Hunger is to do the, um... the regular kill the new gods one, I believe. Eh. So anyway, I stole Ganon's horse. <laughs> you can do that, you can find him and you can steal his horse. He's mine now. But yeah. That's actually it. I need to go eat supper. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out for a 70 hour series. God, it took forever, but it was worth it. The final, the end of this game outshines Breath of the Wild head and shoulders. Breath of the Wild, when you beat it, it feel it felt kind of um like kind of like that's it <laughs> that okay I guess that was the end he beat this and it was like fuck that was sick.
will miss the series. I know I will too. But well, there's so many other video games to play. And who knows, maybe if I have an off day, I'll come back here and just run around Hyrule. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a challenge run someday. We'll figure it out. But for now, I am going to leave. I hope you all have a good, I all had a good time because I certainly did. And I will see you all later.